So, how do you make espresso without using a pump to create the pressure used in the extraction process? And what kind of machine produces espresso that many say is softer, smoother, and sweeter? Hey, espresso lovers, Mark here from Holatelove.com. The answer to both those questions is a spring lever machine like the Profitec Pro 800 I have here. Today, an in-depth look inside and outside the Pro 800 and I'll go over some key features that set it apart from other spring lever machines. First, the basics, from its massive 3.5 liter copper boiler to the fine detail of its mirror finished case, the Pro 800 is definitely a beauty. Boiler temperature is controlled by a Jacquard PID, but you wouldn't know that at first glance. In an effort to give the machine a clean look, the PID display and controls are hidden behind the drip tray. The machine is plumbable or can run from its 3 liter water reservoir. When plumbed direct to a water line, the machine is silent. The pump never operates. Line pressure fills the boiler and boiler pressure fills the group. When using the reservoir, the vibration pump operates only to refill the boiler. To change between reservoir and plumbed operation, a switch behind the drip tray turns off the reservoir's water sensor and a mechanical valve is turned to select the plumbed connection. Included with the machine is a braided stainless line for that connection. Now, personally, I prefer mechanical valves over electrically operated solenoids. It's a simpler setup that's unlikely to ever have a problem. For machines in North America, the Pro 800 uses a 1500 watt heating element in a 3.5 liter copper boiler. A dip tube in the boiler uses boiler pressure to push water into the group. And that lever group is massive, weighing in at 17 pounds, that's 7.8 kilograms. While some lever machines use a heat exchange boiler to feed the group, the dipper setup on the 800 does have some advantages. First, the machine's pump is never used to apply pressure to the coffee. It only runs to fill the boiler when using the reservoir water source. As mentioned, when plumbed, that pump never operates. The second advantage, and probably bigger, over a typical heat exchange setup is the ability to do a true low pressure pre-infusion. When you pull the lever down, the boiler pressure of about 1 to 1.5 bar, depending on your PID setting, is applied to brew water in the group and in turn the coffee in the porta filter. In a heat exchange setup, like on a Bezerra Strega for instance, the pump would come on to refill the chamber in the group and exert its full pump pressure on coffee in the porta filter. Now, for me, the ability to do a true low pressure pre infusion is a key benefit of the dipper system in the Pro 800. Now, I'll be honest, when I first used the machine, I was a little freaked out when I pulled down the lever without a packed porta filter in place and out came lots of steam and definitely overheated water. But it turns out that's exactly what should happen as boiler pressure pushes out water when there's no restriction from a loaded porta filter. I had to really resist the temptation to keep letting it flush like I would on a typical heat exchange machine. So, some in the espresso community are curious as to why Profitech is using a copper boiler on the 800 when they use mostly stainless steel boilers on other machines like the Pro 500 and 700s. And the reasons are straightforward. On the 800, the group has a very large direct connection to the boiler to facilitate passive heating of all that metal. Pulling down the lever creates a lot of force on that connection and copper is more flexible than stainless, so it deals with that stress better. So why consider a lever machine in the first place? Well, with the Pro 800 and the dipper setup, there's the ability to do a true low pressure pre-infusion. Then when you raise the lever, you get a pressure profile of sorts. The springs in the group rapidly increase pressure up to 12 bars at the start. As the extraction continues, the pressure gradually decreases down to zero bar. And during extraction, you can always recock the lever at any point to introduce more brew water and affect the pressure profile. Now, every coffee is different, and as always with espresso, there are variables to consider like grind size and brewing temperature, but in general, the gradual ramping down of pressure avoids over extracting at the end and tends to produce a sweeter shot. In my testing, it was very noticeable, especially in quality high altitude coffees. 
Looking at other parts of the machine, the 800 uses the same massive sprung valves found on the Pro 500 and 700. These reduce valve seat wear as its internal springs that close the valves and not a user's force on the knob. The steam and hot water wands are no burn with internal lining. The stock steam tip is a four hole and steaming power and longevity is what you'd expect from a machine with a huge 3.5 liter boiler. Inside the machine, you'll find a thoughtful design and quality components typical of all Profitex. The PID is Jakar, as is the pump and fill controller. The boiler is well insulated and given the simple layout, all components are easily accessible. All internal plumbing is copper and braided stainless. A large counterweight at the rear keeps the machine on its feet when cocking the lever. Other quality touches include the frame that is one solid piece from front to back. Stainless slide rails on the drip tray support and height adjustable feet. The Pro 800 comes well equipped with single and double porta filters and is one of the few machines out there that comes stock with a bottomless porta filter as well. The drip tray is pre-drilled and includes a collection cup for permanent waistline setup. Overall, the Profitec Pro 800 features all the quality touches and attention to detail found on their other machines. In the right hands, this spring lever is capable of delivering impressive shots that many say are softer, smoother, and sweeter than pump-driven machines. That's the Profitec Pro 800. It's available now at holatelove.com. I'm Mark. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll subscribe to our channel and come back soon for more of the good stuff on Everything Coffee. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelatelove.com. Oh.